Hi, I'm Jason Leahy, Executive Director of the Illinois Principals Association. Thank you for joining us for this IPA talk, and it's my pleasure to have with me the 2019-2020 IPA president this year, Dr. Dan Kraus. Thanks, Dan, for uh, joining me for a little bit. Thanks, Jason. That's still uh, a little bit awkward to hear. So, you know, <laughs> humbling for sure. So uh, great to be here. Thanks. Yeah, I appreciate that. So, Dan, I think maybe the first thing that's always nice to do when we have these opportunities to talk with the presidents of the association is just share a little bit about yourself, your background, any family kinds of things like that sure. that, that you'd like to share. That'd be great. Oh, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm a high school math teacher by training, okay. uh, taught, and my very first uh, school was Shepherd High School in Palos Heights, which is great. I moved from there to Niles North, up on the north side, north suburbs, uh, and then from there down to Andrew High School, which is actually my alma mater. So I went oh, back there as an administrator. Wow. So that was that was a great experience there. And then uh, from there went into District 88 in DuPage County, Addison Trail and Willowbrook mm -hmm. High School, started as an assistant principal. Uh, been there now for 17 years, and uh, well, actually starting the 18th. And then now starting my 13th year as the principal of Willowbrook High School. That's terrific. Yeah, Wonderful. That's terrific. So obviously you're getting ready to start the school year here again, Dan. Mm -hmm. um, just curious, have you got all your teachers hired yet? You no, know, we actually do not. And the right? reason being is uh, we had a few promotions from within. Okay. Uh, so we're looking for a science teacher and uh, uh, as well as a world language Spanish teacher. So if anybody's out there <laughs> thinking about a, a position, that would right. be great. Currently, my wife, Katie, who's associate principal at Stag High School mm -hmm. in Palos Heights, we're sort of uh, By the way, you married over. up. As, I, a, I as a guy that knows, you. yes, speaking from my own experience, not all that too, <laughs> and you've but met from her, my right? own experience from my own wife, I <laughs> get that. Absolutely. Yeah, she's amazing. But we are fighting over people right now. So. <laughs> she's looking to hire and we're looking to hire. So, uh, yeah, we're almost there. Uh, it's been a good summer, good preparations to start the school year. We're very excited. Great. So as you think about your, your school, Dan, you've been there a bit now. Mm -hmm. Just share with me, what, what, are some, what are some things that you have going on that you're really proud of sure. that are happening at Willowbrook? We say to our students all the time in our community, uh, we are a cross-section of the world. We are one of the most racially, religiously, uh, demographically, ethnically, uh, and socioeconomically diverse high schools in the entire state and probably across the country. Um, so from a standpoint, of um, ethnicity, you know, just under 50% white, 28% Hispanic, 10% black, 10% Asian. We share a property with the Islamic Foundation School uh, right there in town. One, nearly one out of every two students receives free and reduce, reduced lunch services. So within all that, uh, our, our priority is making sure we have an inclusive community where every single person feels yeah. like they belong. Um, so which you know, probably leads into why the theme for this year is, is leading through equity and excellence. Right. Uh, finding a way to make sure that all of our students know that they belong in our schools, that we want them there. And there's no better place uh, than in public schools and, and, and throughout the schools that are uh, here in the state of Illinois to support our students on a daily basis. Yeah, so how do you work to, to lead with equity and excellence in your school, Dan? When you think about that equity piece in particular, uh, I know that our new state superintendent, Dr. Mm -hmm. Ayala, has made that a centerpiece of, of her work uh, as she's getting started in her position. I know it's, it's important to our new governor and the General Assembly, those mm -hmm. kinds of things. So, so what types of things are you doing to uh, foster and facilitate that at Willowbrook? I think two, two things that we've done as a school and then as a, as a school district and as a community is first to uh, identify the difference between a, an equitable environment and an equal environment. Mm. Equal means that everyone gets exactly the same. Implies that uh, no one needs anything different. We, we know in education and, and from uh, just human nature that we all need something different to yeah. be successful. Yeah. So helping distinguish that. Um, I got five children, they right? all need, they something, all need different. something different, right? For sure, exactly. I get it. You Absolutely. Get it. But for us, I think then within a school community is helping uh, understand structurally, there are things that have been in place for, for numbers of years that have treated individuals equally and maybe not equitably. So uh, through our culturally responsive teaching strategies that we've worked on with our staff to the individual work with our students to provide them a voice and our leadership in the building. Um, so we've had a couple of uh, very specific examples where our students have led our professional development with our staff. Mm -hmm. Not only participated and maybe not even just kicked it off, but sat down side by side with teachers and said, here are the things that work in the classrooms when you do it this way. Um, that's transformed the experience because now the teachers see the students for their lived experiences. We've worked with our staff and ourselves to continue to grow in building upon our own experiences and backgrounds and strengths. Uh, so we're excited for where we're going. The reality is where we're going is never ending. So there isn't a, an equity checklist, there right. isn't a binder, there isn't something you just do yeah. and then you're done because- It's always the journey, it's not the destination, Absolutely right, right. Yeah. you know? And we say all the time that, you know, in, especially in high schools, 25% um, of your population changes every year by the nature of your seniors graduating right. and a new group of freshmen coming in. So when that happens, you have to minimally look at 25% of what you do. We look at everything. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we look at all to see what works still with the population that we have currently and what do we need to be looking forward to down the road. That's great. 
So some self-serving questions here, sure. Dan, even a little bit shameless, uh, mm. but this is an IPA talk, of yeah, course, and right. we're both highly engaged with the association. So, you know, as you think about this year ahead for you as president, uh, you know, what excite, excites you about coming into that position? Uh, you know, what are some things that you see for the association moving forward? Yeah. Well, I think one of the things that's, uh, w the association is often very humble and modest about who we are as a state. Uh, just getting back from Boston, from the National Association of Secondary School Principals and hearing, you know, from individuals across the country, recognizing that our association is the premier association mm -hmm. across this country. Uh, many states look to what Illinois does in the Illinois Principals Association for leadership, uh, whether it be the uh, ELN, for the Educator Learning Network, uh, whether it be our professional development and administrator academy uh, supports knowing that uh, other state agencies are always and associations are always calling upon you for mm -hmm. where, where are we heading next but I think also recognizing that we're more than 5,000 members strong yeah. and with that means that we have an opportunity to not only learn and grow from one another but to rely upon the expertise that's already here in the state yeah yeah agreed agreed well obviously you, you, within your role as as president uh, one of the primary responsibilities of that is is facilitating and leading the the fall conference, sure. the annual, well, it's actually annual conference. Now mm -hmm. we don't do a summer conference anymore, so we're pivoting that language sure. just a little bit, but really excited about, uh, as we usually are, but mm -hmm. very excited about heading back to Peoria Absolutely. Uh, for, for conference. So when you think about uh, October, Dan, what do, you, what do you wanna make sure that people know about uh, what they're gonna experience when they come to Peoria? there in not not very long period of time. No, it's it's coming up really fast and I think as you start to plan these types of things you realize that you know things that were months away now are weeks you know, away. Weeks away, right? <laughs> or days, um, depends on who you're talking to. Right, yeah, exactly. But we you know we're we're obviously very excited in the fact of being back in Peoria for a couple of years. You know, Springfield's been a great home for the yeah. conference. They've done a tremendous job and I think now it just provides a different venue and opportunity for other leaders from across the state to make it. Um, knowing that there's nearly 250 registered already. Yeah. Um, yeah we're that's exciting. twice the number that we normally are at this point in That's time. That's tremendous. Of the year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the cool part that we're going to have is the two keynote speakers, uh, Amish Brewer uh, and then Michael Bonner, who I think are, are just leading the way in conversations across the country, um, are going to be fantastic keynotes. But those are, those are just, I think, the highlights because the real meat of the conference is our own colleagues and leaders oh, yeah. presenting. So with, with 40 small group sessions um, over the, the span of the conference, we're excited to see uh, everyone come together and, and learn again from one another from yeah. everybody who has submitted the proposal so thank you for the record number of proposals that we, we had did. actually to well present. over 100 by far the most we've ever mm -hmm. i think it was 30 to 40 percent more than we normally get yeah. uh, in any given year so you know we heard we've heard for the last few years people are like well i'm having such a hard time of picking mm -hmm. uh, i think it's going to be even more challenging possibly so. this year I think so. uh, for individuals as well well some other highlights i think that are important for you to know as you prepare to register we're going to hear from our new state superintendent, Dr. Al is going to be there. We're, we're excited about that. Um, we uh, we're also going to have our Sunday night reception at the river, new to us, uh, relatively new Riverfront Museum down great. on the river uh, in Peoria. So that'll be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the newer things that we've done over the last couple of years, we're going to have the 5K on yeah. Sunday morning, mm -hmm. uh, and the the nice reception for everyone, a little more casual on Monday evening as well, the, the mm -hmm. president's uh, reception that'll happen there. So a lot of good things that, Absolutely. oh, and Ignite, we can't forget that. No, the, Ign here, oh, oh, yeah. right? the Ignite sessions are always, I think, one of those moments where you get the five minutes where, right. where folks come up and uh, and have the very pinpoint specific messages. Mm -hmm. um, and now the last couple of years from conference, that has been a highlight for, yeah. for folks. That's a great way to end things. Mm -hmm. Be encouraged, be excited about heading back to your school and and really getting into the year. And so I'll, this is our, our nice logo. We'll put it up there for people to be able to see. I wanna be sure to, to join us that third week in October, leading through equity and excellence uh, in, in Peoria. So Dan, sure appreciate uh, the time and you being here with us a little bit. Uh, best of luck with the, the year 2019, 2020, president of the Illinois Principals Association, Dr. Dan Kraus, thanks. Appreciate the opportunity, and again, just honored and privileged and incredibly humbled. Yeah. So, looking yeah, it's forward gonna, to it. It's going to be a great year. Thanks. Again, my name is Jason Leahy, Executive Director of the Illinois Principals Association. A couple things to be mindful about is if you would like to register for the annual conference this October, uh, be sure to check out the link here on the screen and be able to take you to that. As always, if there's anything the IPA can do for you, don't hesitate to give us a call. Take care.